Hey guys, this is Sonic Acoustics here coming at you with another music tutorial. I had a request from a gentleman on how to prevent clipping in FL Studio 10. One thing I want to address is you should not have clipping issues in your song until you get to the mastering stage, which means when you create your, your song, you want to be able to have headroom. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll play the song here. As you can see, the song generally peaks around minus eight decibels and the maximum is right below zero, which is clipping point. The only time I want to worry about clipping is when I'm in the mastering stage and I want to increase the volume as loud as I can. This is where you'll encounter clipping issues. I'll give you an example. I'll go ahead and just raise the volume meter on my master. Now you can see some clipping occurring. I'll go ahead and I'll bring it back down. Now, if you're going to use only FL Studio plugins, the way to do this would be to load up a fruity limiter on your master channel. We'll go ahead and do that. Now, a fruity limiter basically does what it says. It limits your audio. You have two main controls here that we're going to be using in this process. One is your gain and the other is your ceiling knob. The gain is going to increase your volume and the ceiling knob is going to tame peaks from exceeding a certain point. So right now we're going to try to increase the volume without preventing clipping. And the way to do this is we're going to boost both these knobs up in small increments. We're going to keep nudging it up until we start redlining. We want to make sure that both these knobs are at the same point while we're doing this process. Boost it up a little more. Okay, right now we're redlining. If you look over here on this meter, peaks are exceeding the zero mark. From this point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to lower our ceiling knob in small amounts. And what this will do, this will tame these peaks, particularly our kick drum and our snare drum, which seem to be poking through. We're going to lower this down very slowly while keeping an eye right here. As soon as these peaks drop right below that zero mark, we should have no clipping. it is. What we did, we increased our volume of our track and we used the ceiling knob to limit these peaks so they do not exceed the zero decibel mark on our meter. That is how you prevent clipping in FL Studio 10.